Hello Reddit people, today I'm going to review a uh, Oud Cruiser from uh, Verge Blanchard. Um, this is a old version and this is new version. Um, but rather, um, there's difference between these two. But also, there's the same thing. Okay. Um, these are a box Oud, made of a uh, box Oud, Oud Cruiser. Uh, box Oud is a um, Oud that is very hard, but has a very light color. You know, uh, most of a uh, hard wood, um, usually it's more like dark or reddish brown or a black color. But this one is um, hard wood, but um, uh, but it's really good hard wood, f and uh, it lasts. It doesn't really crack, and it's amazing for tool handles and also uh, leather creasers and etc. It's a box wood. Um, the main difference is um, this one is for thicker leather. This one is for thinner, rather, leather. Uh, and there's a um, center hole with this one that uh, you can hang this on a pegged wall, or you can you can use other applications. Maybe you can you know throw some strings around here, leather strings, and you can hang or yeah and you don't have um, holes in this one um, this one is uh, just as what I got uh, when I received it there's some um, cracks but it's um it's not major cracks it's just um oops just um small cracks maybe should this side maybe and uh, small knots and uh, you know parts maybe the wood when wood was being processed um, some marks and things into it but um, I like the character you can still get old one and um, new one both right now but um, sometimes um, one of the Freezers go out of a uh, stock, so if you want one, you better get one. Okay, and the difference is that I'm going to uh, explain this later. But uh, you see this? Oh wait, show you it's a knife. Okay, this height, maybe um this gap, I should say. This gap is the um what you can use for a thickness of the leather okay so this being longer you, you can use this not this creaser with a thicker leather because when you crease um, the leather going to be a uh, side like this like this like this but if the leather is thinner than this edge this edge um, if you do it against the ground, uh, this part will hit the ground first before the leather, so you cannot crease. So either you have to shave down or ground down, ground grind this part thinner. You have to use this creaser on the thicker leather. But this one is shorter edge, so you can use this on thinner leather. On the being the gaps, uh, this one each have a four gaps like this, and there are some gaps that are similar, but there are gaps not similar. Okay, I was going to compare this each on the wood itself, but um, it's better to lay the cre crease line on the leather and compare it. Okay. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to start with the old one. Uh, maybe one. Okay. I will make each line with the um, with this old one but with the brown leather. This is a green. I'm going to use this with the new crease. Okay. Let's cut this in half. 
Uh, this is some um, Japanese um, anti cutter. I use it time to time. Okay. Now. Sorry guys, I can't talk today. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start with this side. This is a vegetable leather, um, about a um, 1.5 millimeter thick. Okay, this when I put it against the leather, this part comes in contact. So I need to double the leather. Okay. And then crease. Okay, and then use this side. Press hard and rub. Press down hard and rub. Okay. Now just go up. I'm going to change this side to use this one. Oops. Okay. And this side. Oops. Okay. Now the uh, old one is finished, and I'm going to use this one. Um, this one being two mil thick, two millimeters. Uh, so it's okay. I need to use the strap. It's a new strap, and there's no compound. So, so use this. Okay, and change the sides. Yep, <laughs> it's working now. And then change the sides. Change the size. Okay. Like I said, um, these are vegetan leather, and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like after it's done crease. Okay. First, um, I'm not going to uh, say any uh, the millimeters yet, but uh, you know. To show you what it looks like. No. This veg tan leather is pressed down hard uh, with a good edge on it. This one is old one. It looks like this. Okay. This one being the thinnest, looks like this. Okay, you get the idea. And this one, new one. I feel new one is sharper, the edge, and uh, it's easier to do. See that nice thin line, press down. Yeah, you can see like this. See? Yep.
Okay, let's do the um, size comparison now. Okay, so get so grab a ruler. Okay. Okay. These two letter, it was creased by this one, old one, and this says one is being three mil, three millimeters, and. This one is 1.5 millimeters, and this one being uh, 1.8 millimeters, and this one is 1 millimeters. So there are five different types, and no, four different types, and this one was done by this freezer and the widest it's four millimeters and this one two millimeters and this one is three and this one is two wait um three oh there's the little one so okay this is one is 1 1.5 okay so 1.5 2 millimeter 3 millimeter 4 millimeter okay this one being you know um, variation between 1.5 to 2 millimeters um, so this cruiser is um, more spaced little and this one is has a wider as maybe one point one millimeter between the gaps. So uh, if you want you no know, thinner edge for normal work, I should say this you get this one. And if you want if you make a saddles or any big projects like bags or big items, I think you better get this one. Uh, this also makes good uh, guidelines for the pricking irons and uh, you can use this as a deco, line, deco lines yeah it's better to use with water um, if you, you wet the leather and use the creaser uh, it will impress the leather longer and um, it will stay longer and if you use the heat and the pressure more um, you know some type of um, the um, heating source um, you get the maybe permanent crease on the leather um, but I like the wood ones because you don't need any uh, heat or electricity or whatever um, you can crease the line yeah. if you do if you working with the uh, vegetable leather uh, this wood creaser will just uh, work as nice but uh, if you use a chrome tan leather um, I'm afraid uh, these wood, wood creasers doesn't don't really work on the chrome tan or uh, any of the soft letters like um, lambskin or you know um, being the soft um, you can't take the uh, pressure or you know heat or anything like that so use on the old knee the hard type of uh, vegetable leather like this okay on, it works only on a saddle letters like uh, hard type vegetable leather uh, soft leather doesn't work. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.